good late morning everybody late morning yeah we're out for lunch we are we are kind of already missing we just came back from chicago but we're missing the food man it's like crazy huh baby yeah we are hot off the heels yeah. from chicago yeah we are we are here in buena park california uh -huh at portillo's yes we're gonna is it the same as the chicago it comes from chicago but that's, is it gonna be the same thing baby that's what we're gonna find out yeah. we're gonna get the same thing we had over there in mm -hmm. chicago but i think we might try that chocolate cake shake everyone's yeah. suggesting mm -hmm. we are yeah so, so yeah try and, it out babe and what's cool is they just opened up the in-room dining yeah here. so we're gonna dine in mm -hmm. so there it is it's only about a half a mile or my mile from Knott's Berry Farm? Mm -hmm. And it's 11 o'clock, I think like 11 a.m. So not that many people are here yet. Right. So let's Ready? go. Ready? Okay. What do you think about the inside decorations here? It's smaller. Yeah, quite a bit um, smaller. It's very, like, very Californian. Okay. Yeah, they do try to have, like, some similar, uh, I guess, Chicago decorations mm -hmm. around here. Mm -hmm. But we're missing the giant clock and a big car that's yeah. parked in the side. We are. Uh, yeah, the it, Chicago it, it's, it's only one level. From the baseball. Yeah, it's only one level here. It is. What's cool is that there's outdoor patio. It's not really big, but um, you have a choice between the inside or outside. So this is the chocolate cake shake. Let's open this up and see what it looks like. Apparently, they actually put a slice of the carrot cake, or carrot cake, for the chocolate cake, the one we had in Chicago, in a shake form with ice cream. You can see it? You can see the vanilla ice cream right here. That's about the consistency of it. Pretty thick. Try it out, Ben. Okay. That's a good shake. Very good shake. Mmm. It tastes the same chocolate cake, the one we had. Picture that blended with some vanilla ice cream. Wow, this is, this is easily one of my favorite shakes. It's a great shake. Go try it out there. My turn. You can see those chocolate bits in there. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Thank you so much for the recommendation. This is legit. chocolate cake with vanilla. It's really good bits of chocolate cake in there. Again, thank you for everybody to recommend this. Oh yeah, that's a win for sure. It's, um, the straw is big, so it's thick. So it's not hard to suck, but you need a little bit of strength to suck it. Mm -hmm. That's really good. Oh, looks the same. All the goodies in there. I remember the tomatoes kind of being upright in it. Kind of like that. So it's easier to eat instead of them laying on top. I'm trying to see, recreate that look. There okay. you go. You can see the relish, the onions. I remember the onions being chopped a little bit more fine. But that hot dog. Kind of skinny looking hot dog. I remember it being a little bit more juicy looking, but let's give it a taste. There we go. Mm. A punch in 
instructors there. The hot dog has a really nice snap. Really good hot dog, but it's missing something. Not sure what it is. Maybe it's the ambiance. It's a good hot dog. But I don't know. It's I can't put my finger on it, but it's missing something. You try it out, babe, and see if you know what it's missing. Here's a shot of it right here. It appears to have all of the elements that we had in Chicago. The mustard, relish, pepper, pickle, tomato, and diced onions. So I'm not really sure what you think would be missing. Try it out. Okay, here we go. It's good. For me, I think it's spot on. Wow. I do. The bun, the little poppy seed bun is super soft, nice and fresh. That what makes the hot dog. I know you had some hot dogs before where the bun is a little stale. No good. Nice and soft. The hot dog still has this snap. I think it's the same size too. The pickle, I believe, is a little bit bigger, but that's just the way they slice it. And like I said, the onions are definitely a little, a little bit bigger, diced up, but still fresh. Fresh veggies. A piece of Chicago right here. Maybe you gotta get all of the elements in there, babe. Maybe because the pickle's a little bit more tart. And the wire is a The pickle wasn't really tart, but it matched really well with the dog. The relish is good, the tomato is good. The hot dog in Chicago was a little bit more, oh, this is my onions, it was a little bit more snappy. Good I hot dog though. I think it was a little bit more snappy. But this one's a good hot dog, but I believe it's a little bit more snappy than the one in Chicago. I remember first time I bought it into a hot dog in Chicago, the juices like popped in my mouth. This one, you can really taste the dog, but it didn't have that same experience of the juice popping in my mouth. But again, it's a very good hot dog. We also got the Italian beef. Same way. Same way. Just like you said in Chicago, it doesn't leak through the paper because they wrap it so much. Got it with the sweet peppers. You can tell that they dipped it again because that bread is that sogginess with that au jus. Whatever that magic juice that these thinly sliced beef was simmering in. Wow, look at that. Again, they didn't go cheap on the meat. That's the meat. And the temperature is hot. I'm gonna go to the to the big pepper side. I'm in Chicago. This is it. One hundred percent the same as what we had. Super delicious. I really like this with the. Uh, I know some of you re recommended with the other uh, kind of onions and peppers in it. Uh, we decided to get the same way we built it in Chicago. So we got a straight up comparison. And it really does taste good with the sweet peppers. It is not spicy at all. It just has that nice green chili taste to it. A lot of meat in there. See all that juiciness, the way it's cut. So good looking. 
Like me? Sure. It's like, it's like mesmerizing. Try this. This sandwich is the exact one we got in Chicago. The juiciness of the meat, that taste of that pepper, the softness of the bread is exactly the same. But we definitely recommend it getting dipped. Yeah, uh, that get it dipped. It's a really good sandwich. Baby, you forgot to offer our viewers a bite. Oh, yeah. There you go. Your turn. That's a wrap up for Patillo's in Buena Park. That was really good. I think what was missing from the hot dog, what I was saying, is I remember the snap mm -hmm. of that hot dog. And I remember when my first bite, it was the juices were just bursting in my mouth. This one didn't have that quite of a snap to it, but it was a very good hot dog. Yeah. That's what was missing. Mm -hmm. Now, to me, the uh, the juices were there in, in the hot dog. Mm. It didn't have the snap, like you right. said, but the flavor of the hot dog was, was very there. juicy. It was yeah. spot on. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, as far as the uh, Italian beef? It, the same. Yeah. It's so good. As I was eating, the juices were actually running down my hands. So it's a very, very juicy sandwich. Yeah. So good. The, definitely the hot tip is to get it dipped. It and your choice, whether you want the sweet pepper or the other, what's it called, Jardine or uh, something? Yeah, I think it's that little thing, Jardine thing. Right, yeah. right. So that's all personal preference. Yeah. But uh, yeah, if, you, if you're local to Southern California and you can't make it to Chicago, but you want a taste of that Chicago dog and that Italian beef, this is it. This is it. Portillo's. Get the chocolate shake. Yeah. Thank you for the recommendations again, guys. This is the really a cake in a shake and that you can taste the cake in the shake. Yeah, not only that, but when we had the lid open, you could see the frosting that they put. Mm -hmm. So I, they really did use the chocolate cake. Yeah, and as you're drinking it, you get little bits of frosting as you're drinking it and you can feel the graininess of the cake. So it's very good. Yeah. Yummy. I'm definitely gonna sip on that on the drive home. Yeah. Well, that lot wraps up our lunch at Portillo's put my bag down here <laughs> so thanks for watching everybody and we'll catch you on the next one